Hi guys, before this video starts I want to clarify two points. First of all, down below and in the description you can find the timestamps so you can skip over or skip to the parts that you want to see. And in this video I'm going to show you what a typical Monday in my life looks like. I'm going to show you what I do before work, during work and afterwards. I'm going to show you the tasks that I'm doing and what is expected of me. And at the end of the video I'm going to give you my opinion on the pros and cons of these jobs as well as a quick summary. Second, my official job title right now is Junior Business Intelligence Analyst. And I know some people might be asking now, hey, it's been three years. After three years, you should be a Senior Business Intelligence Director, Customer Experience, RPA, Automation Consultant Engineer with 10 people working under you. Yeah, yeah, you. So in the video, I'm going to explain why I'm still a junior and what I need to be not a junior anymore and also why I wrote RPA Developer. Just like any other hustler, my day starts extremely early at 7.50 a.m. First thing I always do is I open the curtains, open the window to let some fresh air in and then I make my bed to have a good start into the day. I then head into the kitchen where I get one glass of water and one pill of iron. I don't have to wake up at 7.50 a.m. but that is usually the time that I have to wake up when I go into the office. And since Corona is slowly fading away, I think it's good to get used to the old patterns again. I then wash my face with this weird cream. And then I do my hair. I usually don't shave because shaving is for losers. After that, I start my laptop. I don't have to start it, it's usually 9 a.m. that I start working, but if I start my laptop early, it's also easier to fix any emergencies that are there, and it's also not that stressful for me. I currently only have two screens, which is kind of a problem because my productivity is only 66% compared to three screens. After that, I get dressed and eat my breakfast, which consists of four eggs. And a tasty vegan protein shake, which reminds me of warm vomit, which is good because afterwards they really can't get much worse. And I also check my phone. Brush my teeth. So at 9 am work starts, first two things I see are Outlook and Teams. I check for emergencies. And then afterwards I check business objects to see if there are any failed instances and also check orchestrator to see if the bot has run through normally. So now for the goals and expectations of my job. I'm pretty sure the BI analyst in most companies is pretty similar. It's just different tools that they are using. And in my case, I have a tool called Workday, which is an HR tool where you have all your personal data entered into it, including the goals. And the goal setting in my company is for six months, for a time span of six months. And after six months, you basically sit down together with your boss and see how far you've come. And I think that concept is pretty good because you have all of your goals clearly defined and you know what you have to work on and what is expected of you and what is not expected of you. And after that six months, you can see how far you've come and you can also see how far you've come in the years before and what is expected of you in the next coming six months. So my first goal is to manage the BO enterprise platform, which is basically an ongoing task and I have to take care of everything that's going on in there, the reports, the data of the reports. I have to check for new patches, updates. I have to manage the user access. I have to clean up regularly. And this is also where the pain point comes in of how I get rid of my junior title. So currently my company is fusing with another company and that's why the updates are on hold. But the update is also the last task I need to perform so I can get rid of the junior in my name. Goal number two is to manage the help desk system, which is basically like our ticket system. Whenever a ticket is being entered into our category, I have to look at it and then assign it to the right person, which is oftentimes just me. And I have to do it all in a timely manner. Timely means that nobody is complaining before I finish the task and no business critical processes are being disturbed by it. 
So goal number three is to support the company fusion that I mentioned earlier, which could be something like reviewing all the reports that we have and compare them against the reports of the other company to see re which reports we can replace and which ones are unique and which ones we need and how they do it with their tools and how we do it with our tools. Goal number four is to support the application board, which includes tasks like supporting the Tableau reports, taking care of the OLAP cubes in Visual Studio and Excel, cleaning up the Webby reports in BO, and also reducing the, reducing the Crystal reports in BO. Now, this is a very high level view and it would take a bit of time to go into detail, but I made another video about that and I will put it in the info box so you can check it out if you're interested. Goal number five is to support a data migration from our old server to a new server. And that could include tasks for me like redesigning the universe or reports that are impacted because of the data movement. Final goal is to support the RPA movement in my company, which means that I have to look for new use cases, build new robots and also take care of the existing ones. And I'm also going to go into detail into that later. Around 10.30 I start entering the task I did last week into Polarion, our project management tool. You can basically add a task into the right category and put a status on it like in progress, finished, failed and also assign all the right people to it and then also write a quick description of what needs to be done and then add comments on the progress and the problems that you occur on the way. This is in preparation for our weekly team meeting. And you're also supposed to enter it if there's no team meeting, if somebody is sick or on vacation, because it's still good to have a list and an overview of what you did and what the team did last week. And the team meeting is basically so that everybody can check what the other person did. And if there's any problems or room for improvement, then they can add it in there. Anytime I do something that is worth mentioning in a team meeting, I take notes in Microsoft OneNote, because if you ask me what I did last week, it's pretty hard for me to remember. And also today there's no team meeting because some colleagues are on vacation. Lunchtime starts around 12. The team meeting usually takes a bit longer than 12, but if I have the chance, I try to leave earlier so I can avoid the rush hour. I don't like waiting in queue for a long time. Now for lunch, most of my colleagues would go to the restaurant and I also tried doing that, but I don't think the food is that healthy and it can also get quite expensive. Also sitting for a long time is not healthy for you. That's why I try to move a lot. I take the stairs, I take the bike and I try to avoid the elevator as much as possible. And oftentimes I would go to the supermarket and then get some food and then eat whatever I can make with it. My lunch break can take anything up from five minutes to one hour, depending on whether I have food at home or not, or whether I feel like moving out. And when it comes to food, I like to eat healthy, organic food that comes from nature, like this organic protein pudding, bread, green fruit, and two red fruits that I forgot to hold into the camera. I can eat in the kitchen or I can eat in front of my computer. The choice is mine. After lunch, I then leave the kitchen in a better place. Around 1 p.m. I get back to work and I often focus on the tasks that take a little bit more concentration. And here we have to mention UiPath and RPA, short for Robotic Process Automation. So why did I put RPA Developer into the title? Pretty simple, I have an RPA Developer license and I'm developing bots. And the situation right now is because of the company fusing, it's not clear what my future is. And my boss asked me whether I wanted to develop further into the RPA direction or stay in the BI line. And I answered RPA because I think RPA is a little bit more fun, but I'm still doing both at the same time currently. The focus obviously getting stronger in the RPA direction. I don't get paid extra for that, but I think the reason is more like that I'm pretty bad at negotiating my salary. So what is a bot? We're not talking about Wally -E here, no hardware robots. We're talking about a software robot, something that can automate processes like copying stuff from Excel daily into another tool. Somebody wants something automated, they can request it to us with a short summary of what needs to be done. Then I sit together with them in some kind of meeting and get their documents to understand what the process is, what needs to be done, what the result needs to be. 
and also what all the exceptions are and problems that could, could occur along the way. And then I start building the bot in UiPath Studio, which is a licensed product. The product itself is mostly drag and drop and you all you need to build a robot is a basic understanding of programming. Obviously I'm also responsible for testing the bot and then deploying it to live and finding a schedule on when I can let it run on Orchestrator. And basically that's what I also see my future in. It's a lot of fun to build robots and you can also see how much time they are saving because you can literally see the bot working. Also, if you're interested in courses that are free from UiPath, I put all the links in the description down below so you can get a first overview. Around 3 p.m. I go to the kitchen to grab another snack because I'm pretty good at opening the fridge. The snack consists of oats, banana and some blueberries with cashew milk. I then continue work normally in front of the computer, because this is not lunch. My calendar is also not stuffed with meetings, because I don't like them. I think most of the meetings could also be done in an email or in a short call. And also a lot of my tasks require me to be flexible and also available on the spot and not under a fixed time. My workday ends around 6 p.m. depending on how long I took lunch break and whether there's still any urgent tasks. And on Monday I usually do my workout then. That's because I'm trying to be a fitness influencer. I know you guys are laughing because I'm a little bit chubby but I'm actually serious. And in the middle of the workout I also start ordering food because I forgot that I was supposed to be eating healthy. The rest of the Monday evening footage is not that interesting, it's most of the time just me sitting in front of the computer, scrolling the internet, editing videos, playing games. So I quickly want to walk you guys through the pros and cons of this job. Let's start with the pros. So tough times make you stronger and oh boy, there will be a lot of tough times. For the cons, it can be a bit lonely, you can get a lot of screen time. Pressures quite high, and occasionally people will mistake you for a business analyst. So to summarize the main points, I think all in all it's a fun job with a lot of diverse tasks. You can see a little bit of every department in your company. It can be done remote. I think the pay is good and you have a secure future. All of these points apply to both of the titles. It is almost midnight now, I spent the last two hours talking to a friend on Discord. We usually play a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, Dinosaur vs DDD, that's why I win all the time. And I'm going to brush my teeth, do some Wim Hof breathing and then head to bed. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. This is how a day in my life looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, feedback or whatever, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Just go with the flow of the breath.